Hello, and thank you for being part of Zanta International, District 2, and your own clubs. I Usually your workshop is in your area. In District 2, we so have four here. areas, and your directors have put their heads together to make this an outstanding event workshop for you and having it as close to your computer. So whether you are participating in this workshop live or you're watching the replay, you are stepping up to communication, education, leadership just by being involved. You are doing your part to help women and girls around the world. Before we I was supposed to show you that picture of these beautiful ladies of your area directors. Sorry about that. So before we get started, we have a few housekeeping items. Again, your microphone should be red, not green, unless you're a presenter. And anything else is, should be off. Please do know that this webinar recording will be distributed after the event. You'll have an opportunity to, chat, to type in the chat box. It's private. There will be Q&A after each topic. Jackie Wallace, you're not if you're going to use social media, our hashtag is D2 Area Workshop. Today's presentation will be made by Candace Edwards, Audrey Lavin, and Kate Edren. So welcome to your area meeting. We are glad you are here. And let's start with an exciting video made this past International Women's Day.
Thanks for joining our live webinar today. We have been having area workshops for the last 90 years. Everyone had to take a day, arrange childcare in some cases, travel, pay for lunch, decide what you were going to wear, et cetera, et cetera. This is the first e-webinar. We are all pioneers, and together we are making history. Last time we were together, it was district conference. I have a few updates from then. In the past biennium, 79 new Zanshans joined. In 2014 and 2015, 62. And so far this year in 2017, or 2016, excuse me, 17 new members have joined. We will be uh, announcing the winners of the um, sponsored contest at conference bring one by one one very shortly. There's been a change at Zonta International membership uh, ch uh, chair there. So once that's uh, set, we will have the information out to all of you in the district. At conference, our proceeds proudly supported Zonta International Foundation. $1,200 was sent in the district's name to the foundation. And I know you too, personally and as clubs, are still promoting and supporting Zonta International Foundation. Thank you. Now let's hear updates from each of our district committees. Bear in mind that the district committees work with your club committees of the same name and also interface with the Zonta International committees comprised of people from around the world. Someday, you may invite it, be invited to be a part of a district committee yourself. Be sure to step up to that leadership with enthusiasm. Okay. Thank you, Governor Edwards. We are um, all pioneers today, which is great. And we are learning as we go. <clears throat> and I'm wondering where is my slideshow? Okay, thank, hang on. Ah, there we go. I hope that you see Candace's pretty face. <laughs> and let's say play. All right. So yes, to gate we are, are we are making history. Uh, the get one one by one one challenge is actually um, Candace is going all the way up through the biennium. So if you got yours by January first, that's great. But if you got it on February 1st, that counts. And the reason why she did it is because Zant International is having a membership recognition. And if you've got one already, you are getting close. Because every Zantian who has introduced two or more new members during the biennium will be uh, recognized with a letter and a pin. And the deadline for clubs to submit the form to member records is June 7th. There's our conference proceeds. And now for our updates from district committees. We asked every committee uh, chair to please tell us what is the single most important thing that people in our district need to know right now. So you'll see the committee names at the top and the chair right underneath it. And hopefully you'll have a picture of them. And, and here goes. In advocacy, we, last year, all the clubs wrote to their president or prime minister, and I want to tell you that we had about 30 members from our district participate in the 60th session of the Commission on the Status of Women that was in New York. And just to let you know, there are many sustainable goals. In Zanta, we focus on goal number five, which is to achieve gender equality and to empower all women and girls. What should you be doing now? 
Well, Charlotte advises each club to go to www.zontasaysno.com now, not this very second, but you know, very soon, to plan activities for your 16 days of activism next year. It's not too soon to start. And speaking of advocacy, big news in the world. On April 21st, just recently, the Council of Europe announced that Bulgaria signed something called the Istanbul Convention. So you need to know what that is. And most important is the summary is that it, it combats, it's, it focuses on preventing and combating violence against women. And what's very cool is District 30 was highly influential in petitioning for the signature. So we're, we're happy for them. On to Amelia Earhart. For those of you who... Uh, Join the mom prom. You know, Susan's face will be very familiar. They held their event last night. Um, as far as Amelia Earhart, what you need to know is that while clubs and our district provide scholarships, the international provides 35 to 40 awards of $10,000 every year. Now, clubs should be sending in their applications to the district for their, not their applications, their, the winner, their winner's applications to the district, and then it gets forwarded on. Last year, we had two winners from the Montreal area, and the year before that, we had one in Syracuse. So Susan advises, please keep having Amelia Earhart events in your clubs. Archiving, you know we're getting ready to celebrate our 100th anniversary. So this is a very important committee. In our district, our chair is Betsy Lucci. You can see her on the left side. Isn't she adorable? I just love this picture. Jane went and got the picture. There's Jane on the right. She's assisting. Um, Jane has been a tireless member for 39 years. She is in hospice care right now, but she can't tell you how exciting it is when clubs report that they are going through their materials and finding amazing treasures. So you should be, at this point, preparing for the 100-year celebration. Bylaws, Chair Mita Murray. They were most busy just before conference because any updates to documents had to be approved by all members at the last district conference. And documents will be posted soon on our, next, on our new website. Finance wants you to know, hi Gloria, let's see, where are your words? Ah, what they do. Uh, first of all, they work on the budget. And again, that's something that gets pre presented at the district conference. So for the current biennium, that's been done. They also take a look to see if any dues need to be increased. So far, no. Problem solver. If a, a club has an issue with finances or even the district, the finance chair and committee works on that. Another thing they do is they prepare the annual report and they send it to Zanta International and that keeps and protects the um, 501c4 status. A compilation, for those of you who are in accounting, you'll know this term, but basically it is a, a required form that it's complicated and it gets presented to conference and finance committee prepares it. Treasurer training, this is kind of exciting. Right now, the Finance Committee is working on guidelines to help with club treasurer training. And just a little note, the district is a nonprofit membership group. We are affiliated with Zonta International, but we are not a charity. That means we don't get tax exclusion as a district and we cannot accept contributions as a district, although we can accept advertising. So if you donate directly to the district, it is not a deductible charitable deduction. So there's a big difference. But we are classified as a nonprofit so that we don't have to pay taxes on um, our proceeds. Next we'll talk about the Zanta International Foundation. We in our district have an ambassador, and our ambassador is Marion Webster. And she takes care of donations. There she is. Um, from our district. When she wants you to know two things. Number one, when we send money to Zanta International Foundation, how much goes to administration costs? Do you know the answer? 
None. It goes directly to the projects. Who selects the surface projects? We do. Projects are presented at the, the biannual convention for approval by delegates. That's why it's so important that clubs are taking a look at these projects now. And you'll, uh, we're going to talk about where you find them shortly. Uh, with, discuss with your clubs and have your delegates prepared when they go to Nice by in-person or proxy that they're prepared to vote. So thank you, Marianne. IT. Our, our chair has been Wanda Turner. I'm very sorry to say that Wanda is sort of retiring from Zanta. So we are saying goodbye to our dear colleague, and she has been a tremendous asset to this district, so we thank her for her service. We are now exploring new content managed websites for our district and for our clubs who want to give their pages a face list. So keep an eye out, more information coming soon. Jean M. Kuhn Scholarship. Many clubs submit candidates for the District 2 Humanitarian, Humanitarian Award. Did yours? We had almost 95% online submissions, and next biennium, we're aiming for 100%. Okay, Jane M. Clausman has a new Facebook page. Be sure to like it. Did you know they had a Facebook page? I didn't know that. I was so excited. So uh, all you have to do is go type in in your browser, Jane, well, you can see it there, and then go down and make sure you like it. Membership, lots of exciting things going on in membership. The Add Your Voice program launch is so, uh, uh, there's so much detail to it today that it's one of our training topics. You'll hear about that shortly from Marjorie. Nominating committee, every biennium, a group of people are charged with the most important task of selecting leadership for the coming biennium. And they take a look at people who are outstanding in their clubs and they invite them to, um, to lead the district. And that mostly has been done because it gets voted at our conference going forward and it'll happen again at the next conference. So if you have a desire to assist with the leadership, make sure your nominating committee knows. And also if your club has any, um, needs any guidance as far as selecting secession planning and selecting leaders going forward, the committee can help. And it helps that our chair, Sue Ann Cunliffe, is also our parliamentarian, so she's got all the rules down. Okay, PR committee, yours truly. And the most exciting news in, in this is that we have Zanta branding information. That means everything that we publish, our newsletters, our handouts, our presentations, should all follow a certain format. It's available on the, the website, and every club does need a PR chair going forward. So if you haven't yet selected who your PR chair is, please do so in the few, in the few months remaining to the conference, to the um, Zanta year, because we will be interacting. Um, the district will interact with the clubs quite um, closely. And it'll be a lot of fun, but we need a person. So don't let it be the club president. Last year, we had a lot of people who were wearing so many hats. I kept thinking of Bartholomew Cubbins with 100 hats. Um, let it be somebody else, okay, so that we can not overburden our president. Service. And there's a nice smiling face of Gloria. Uh, service wants you to know that your club projects should be mission-oriented, and that means they are aligned with Santa International's mission. When you're choosing pick projects, you want to look at the mission and, and make sure that it, the project is something in the scope of Santa. A lot of things are very fun, but maybe they aren't aligned. So another thing that you might want to do, next year's presidents on this conference, um, be sure it might be a good time right now to have a conversation with your chairs of your major service projects and kind of evaluate how they're going and if they need to be switched up. 
And also, the district committee is available to help the club service chairs. Next, we're going to talk about UN committee. Everyone should know that Zant International has been closely associated with the United Nations since 1962. How old were you then when you think about it? All right. You should also know that we maintain representatives at UN sites in New York, Geneva, Paris, and Vienna. Zanta even has consultative status with many organizations within the United Nations, especially with the entities that promote women's rights. Therefore, Jeanette wants you to know that clubs should have a UN committee that keeps up with what's going on at the United Nations and reports to the membership on a regular basis. It says click here to join the online yes. event. You so, can I bring this up? You are not, do not talk. <laughs> okay, moving on. Young Women in Public Affairs. It's chaired by Deb Otlowski. That is not Deb's picture. That is um, a young woman who won an international award. This award recognizes young women ages 16 to 19 who are already de demonstrating superior leadership skills. John, where did you That's get this information good. from? Um, there are, the eligibility is right on the episode. Oh, shit. What is all this gray mail on here? Okay, turn it off. Can I gave you? I apologize for the call. I want this is how you um, get it. She'll laugh Going later. <laughs> well, I don't know who it is, so I can't select her and mute her. Okay, anyhow, um, 10 international scholarships of $4,000 U.S. and 32 district and regional scholarships, 1,000 each, are awarded each year. So Zanta Clubs, get busy and submit your um, young women in public affairs. Z is our last. She doesn't know she is on. Uh, Z and Golden Z is our last committee, and Bonnie is currently chairing this. She wants you to know that every club should strive to have one, and there is a new PowerPoint that can be used to um, encourage groups to join um, as a Golden Z. The PowerPoint. This is the first slide and it introduces the program. And you'll notice in the lower right the logos for the Z Club that's high school and the Golden Z that's college. So at this point in time, you can type your questions, comments, compliments, or concerns in the Q&A, and we'll answer a few questions. I'm not seeing any questions. Huh. Okay. All right. Well, if I missed something or you have a question for the future, then um, definitely uh, let us know. I'll be checking through the next section. And we will, at the end, if we miss some questions. And I have a funny feeling I'm missing them because I'm seeing some kind of alert here. So bear with me. We're all new to this. Um, okay. Our next topic is going to be our new website. And while I, um, I'm going to turn the ball over to Kate Aldrin. Kate has been with Zanta International since 2013. She specializes in social media, and she supports ongoing projects like Zanta Says No. Uh, she was big time in behind the branding of Zanta, which is just a phenomenal, she's done a phenomenal job, and she's involved in the centennial um, celebrations as well. She has a master's degree in communications. She's got a 
the bachelor's in poli sci and journalism, and she has just been a delight to work with. And she is coming to us from the Chicagoland area on a Saturday morning, um, probably not in her pajamas. But I'm going to turn this over to her, and uh, I promised I wouldn't show her face, but you're going to see a nice little movie before we hear from Kate, and she'll be answering your questions. Hi, everyone. This is Kate from Sansa. Can you hear me? Okay. I'm not exactly sure what happened with that video, but we will get everybody a copy of it. It's about seven minutes long, and it's really well done. Um, if we have time, we'll attempt to play it again at the end. Right now, I'm going to turn the ball over to Kate Edrin, who will walk us through. Maybe she can do a screen share for us. Thanks, Kate. Okay, and before I uh, turn on the screen share, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the link to the YouTube video um, within the Q&A. So please feel free to watch us at your own time. Um, you'll recognize the voice. It's my own. Um, so here it is. Let me see if I can send this. Okay, well, this may be why we're not getting um, some Q&As. I'm actually unable to send the link myself. Um, let's see if there's something I can do with this. Okay, that's not happening, but let me just share my screen. Maybe that way you all can just see it. Or Kate, you may be able to use the chat box. That seems to be working. Okay. Let's see. I can just pull up the chat really quick. Let's see. Let's go to all. And here we go. Let's see. Okay, so here we go. If you can see that link that just popped up within the chat box, that way you can have any access to that at any time. So I'm going to go back over to the Zonta website, and I apologize for that little glitch there. Um, but let me just walk you through the three basic sites. We have Zonta um, Home, which is Zonta.org, which I'm just going to open this up in a new tab. And I'm only doing this just for ease of access to switch through. But at any time, you can access my Zanza and the foundation at these top buttons here. So just trying to remember my script from the video. Um, as you go through, you can see that there's um, a whole new menu. And what's coming up here is called a mega menu. And this is a really cool feature that shows you exactly what's going on in each of these sections. So you don't have to click and go back and click and go back. So you can see that we have our advocacy, our education, our latest news. And within service, you're going to see our international service and a quick link to the Zonta Says No program. But then we get to the local action. This is actually my favorite part of the job, where I can see exactly what clubs are doing around the world. And here you're going to see local service and advocacy. And then over here is where we're talking about those student clubs. And oh my gosh, you guys are doing such a great job. Every time we turn around, there's a new Z or Golden Z club. And that's just great. And we can't wait to see more and more. Um, over here, we have the Locator Club tool, and this is really neat. So what's going to happen here is it's actually going to focus in on um, where I live, but when you guys log in and do it on your own time, it's actually going to focus in on where you live, which is kind of neat. Then all we have to do to go back is just click here, and we go back to Zonta.org. Then next we have um, the About Us section. And this is where you're going to find all that really cool information about just all about Zonta. So many like our mission and vision, our history, our centennial anniversary, which is coming up, and I'm very excited about that, and information on the past international president. Um, next we have something about the governors. And what's really interesting about this page now is that we link to all the district websites. So if you're looking to see what's happening in your sister um, district, you can just click here, go to the district, and see what's going on. Um, more information on um, IHMs, our international honoring members, and then some more information on our headquarters team. Um, on every single page, you're going to be seeing the donate button, and that will bring you over to the Zonta International Foundation. So going to my Zonta, so just imagine I click that, and this page pops up. I've already logged in, and I'm actually logged in as a club member right now. And this is because if you were to see what I see, it's very confusing. There's a lot of edit buttons. But under here, this is where you're going to see all those really cool tools that were all featured on um, number of resources on the old website. The reason why we broke this up into three different websites was because we were only focusing 
on one page, but multiple audiences. So it was very confusing for if you were a new member or if you're a potential member and you want to see what Santa was all about, and all of a sudden you see all these forms and all these different tools, and you're like, whoa, what is this? So instead, Santa.org focuses on that external audience, and My Santa focuses on that internal audience, where we get all those really nice tools that have been put together um, for Santa business. So there's um, the governance. This is where you're going to find the governing documents, the manuals, policies, forms page has all the forms on it, um, tools. This is where that big meaty part of um, member resources was. And this is all broken up into individual pages. A lot of people have been asking about the Donta stores. You're going to find that under the products right here under tools. The directory, this is where you're going to be able to search for a bunch of different members. And this is something that I actually had a conversation with Teresa about yesterday. And it was just really interesting to see her part, okay, I have to log in. So once you log in, you'll be able to um, get a, you'll be able to get access into your own um, user. If I were to log in as myself right now, I would not be able to see it because I have admin cross on admin access. So I feel free to log in as yourself, and you'll be able to see everything. News and then leadership access. This is if you're going to have um, a leadership role. So this is going to be for governors and ICCs, and um, soon we'll be rolling out something called um, communities, and this is going to be broken out into different sections like club presidents, and what this is going to offer is a bigger sense of connection where you all will be able to connect with the Azanjan across the globe within these communities. Now, some questions that we've kind of been anticipating were a big one, and that is, Okay, I forgot my username. I clicked on forgot username. Nothing happened. And we are well aware of this issue, and we've been working nonstop to fix it. The issue comes with, it's actually between two different vendors. It's our database vendor, and it's our website vendor. So trying to get the actual answer to come together, we thought it was going to be just a quick fix. It is something that goes a little bit deeper, and this is what we've been working on nonstop. We do have a fix for this right now. And we hope that you all share this information with all of your fellow Zanshin. What we would like for you to do is to contact any member on the communications team or email us at webmaster at zanta.org. The easy way to do this is to click this button right here, give us some feedback, and just say, hey, I'm having some trouble logging on. Would you please be able to help us? And we are working nonstop to send out these passwords and to reset everything so you can get access to this website and really see what's going on. The next um, few things is just, okay, we're talking a lot about conventions. What do we do? Like, how do we, how do we learn about what's actually happening? At any time, you can click these links right here to convention, and it'll take you to an external page. And that page is zontaconventionnice.com. This is the Zonta side of it. There is another page that you will have to go to to actually register if you are able to come with us to meet. And that will take you to an external site where you have to fill in all of your information. Under here, if you can't go and you just are looking for something about what's been going on, what we can be doing to learn more about conventions, it's going to be under resources here and club mailing. And this is what Teresa was mentioning earlier about the biennial goals and the projects. So if we scroll down here, it looks like a lot of information, but I promise you it's really digestible and you're able to see everything. The main things that you're going to probably want to see are, okay, so what about those projects that everybody loves? And there are these four projects right here. And these are just proposed right now. So they're just drafts. And of course, you all know, we all have to, well, you all have to vote on them at convention, and then we'll move forward from there. <laughs> so, going back to the website, another thing that we've been asked about is the Memorial Service Awards, or the Memorial Service Form. This can be found under Forms, and if we just go back to, oh, come on, here we go. If we just 
go back here and program under special events. This is just in case you forget where to go within the forms. You can click right here for the memorial service and you can visit the memorial form. That is found under forms. Okay, I still have to log in. I apologize for that. But it'll be under there. The locate a club tool is another thing that we've been getting some questions on. And what we've been hearing is, well, my information is not right. Now, this is a very tricky situation because all that information we get from the clubs. So if you see something that's not right, that's actually the information that we have on file at headquarters, and we would love to get the right information out. So it's a really quick fix. You can either click that quick button about give feedback or contact member resources at SAMHSA.org. So I'm just going to type these in right now. So it's webmasters at SAMHSA.org. That's all website stuff. But if you want any sort of member help, membership help, it's member records at SAMHSA.org. So this basic overall is like all the major questions that we've been receiving. Does anybody else have any questions that they would like to know about? And feel free to type in the chat box because the Q&A button um, is just not working for me right now. So if we can see anything in the chat. Oh, another thing that just popped into my head right now, there's something called the Voices Campaign that's been going on, and it's Add Your Voice. And what this is, it's an initiative and a campaign for um, membership within the North American section of all of our membership. And right now, we're working on two different sites. And there's an external site and an internal site. And the internal site is where you will find all the really cool tools that you can use to promote membership within your area. And then the, so if it's the internal site, then the external site is where we want people to go along um, once they get that information. Um, Marjorie just said that she is going to be presenting on Voices in a moment, so she's going to have a lot more information. And those two websites I just mentioned, I, Marjorie, I know I owe you this information, I apologize. Um, it's back with the committee right now. So once the committee approves everything, we'll get it out to you guys and put it up on the website, give them the e-newsletter, and so you can have more information that way. But I'm sure Marjorie is going to have a lot more information, more in-depth of what you can do with it right now. Okay, great. I just got a question about leadership access from treasurers. So when you log in, within that, there's not going to be anything for treasurers there. But for treasurers and club presidents, when you're paying dues, you have to log in as a club president um, with the, or log in with the club login. Now, this is different than your personal login. And if you already knew that, that's awesome. If not, it's new information, which is also awesome. So if you don't really know what your club login is, please contact member records at SAMHSA.org and they're more than happy to help you. Any more questions on the website? Does everybody know how to go to the NICE page and find the projects? It's right down here. Yay. <laughs> easy, easy peasy. And I'm sure more questions will pop into your mind, especially when you're logged in. So please feel free to email any one of us at um, Santa Headquarters in the Communications Department. My name is Kate Edron. My email is kedron at santa.org. So I'm going to type that in. And if you have any questions with that, with the website, please feel free. 
to email me or email webmaster at SAMHSA.org. Great. And um, we will be sending that link again as well. So if you didn't get it, I know a few of you have written in that you didn't catch it. It, it will be up in the, uh, in the summary. So thank you very much, Kate. That was wonderful. I don't know what happened with our video the first time, but it was good on our practice. <laughs> <laughs> it was. And if you missed that, uh, we, we will appreciate you. What was that? I'm sorry. Nothing. Just saying that we appreciate you being here today oh, and um, continued success to you. And at this point, I'm going to be um, turning over the program to Marjorie Lavin, who will talk to us a little bit about the um, Add Your Voice. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Um, I'm going to start uh, my video, so you may see me in a moment. If you see just a gray box, that just means there's a bandwidth uh, issue. Um, so d just a, a little bit of uh, preliminary information, and then I'm going to move to a, a PowerPoint that will give an overview of the Voices campaign. Um, as Kate's uh, presentation made very clear, Zanta International has made a commitment to provide high-quality, polished, professional-looking materials to districts and clubs to support our efforts to recruit new members and to gain visibility for our advocacy and service projects. Zanta Says No was the first major campaign of this sort, and I know that many clubs use those materials and developed local events, and we had some events at, district con uh, at the district conference and other uh, district meetings. The new campaign is called Voices, and um, I'll give you an overview now of this exciting new program. I'm going to need to um, share, uh, uh, move to PowerPoint. So I hope this works. Um, pardon me. I think I skipped a step here, which is. Okay. Okay. Um, could somebody tell me? Are you seeing a, a a title page that says "Add Your Voice for Gender Equality"? No. We see we see you right now, Marjorie. Just switch to share your screen or share your file. Okay. I yeah. I think. Uh, okay. If you go up on the menu to the share button. Okay, and now what do you see? Now we see Add Your Voice. Your screen is up. Okay, great. Okay, and I think that Teresa uh, may have used the, this uh, logo in an earlier um, uh, a part of the uh, of the program. So um, the Voices uh, program is being piloted this spring, and what it is is essentially a membership communication toolkit. Uh, it is similar to Zonta Says No in that it has um, uh, a variety of tools. It has um, PR materials, communication materials, and the focus is on new member recruitment at the club level. And the whole theme, it's Voices for short, but the whole theme is Add Your Voice for Gender Equality. And there are two types of tools being made available. One is intended to support uh, presentations to the public, including events uh, scheduled for um, member recruitment. So there are a variety of pictures that are uh, available, you know, images of exemptions uh, of, you know, of uh, you know, various you know, ages and appearances. Um, in, engaged in various activities. Social media images will be available for those clubs that are using such social media as, uh, as Facebook. Uh, there, uh, there okay. is, is, 
I'm getting a kind of a buzzing and humming. Christine, it looks like Christine, could you mute your um, your device? Because you're showing as a speaker. Thank you. Um, there are templates for posters and event invitations. There are um, there's a design for banner that can be downloaded and uh, and and printed. There's a new Zanta brochure. Uh, there's a new This is Zanta fold-out information sheet. There will be uh, a landing page if you go to zanta.org. And uh, I'm very uh, grateful that Kate gave that overview because a lot of what uh, you'll be able to do with Voices will be available on the website once the uh, the, the uh, membership committee approves this. Um, and there will be Zanta mission cards that will be available to download and print and make available you know, for members to hand out when they're at you know, any kind of event. Um, for clubs, there are also a number of, of materials. There is a video called Steps to Successful Recruiting. There is a new Why Zanta uh, PowerPoint and script for presentations to prospective members. And there are a number of training sheets. I'll show you a, a, a section uh, from these. And they're intended for club uh, members to practice. I mean, if you look at these, you can imagine doing you know, sort of you know, role-playing uh, activities in a club meeting. Uh, one is how to turn any event into a membership recruitment event. Another is tips on you know, uh, successful methods for reaching out to prospective members. And you know, for those of us who don't have a natural uh, gift for, uh, for sales, uh, there's advice about how to overcome objections when you're trying to ask a new member to, uh, to join. Um, so that, that's the, the, yeah, an overview of the toolkit. Uh, my next slide is going to show you a little segment from uh, one of the training sheets. Uh, and this, there's, there's, there are several other sections to this. But you see this is very, uh, very practical, it's laid out in stages. You know, you, you know, set your membership goal, um, include member recruitment in any activity that you do, but also do special events to reach out to potential new members. So this just gives you a flavor of the kind of training materials that will be available for, uh, for club presidents to use with their membership. Um, I'm now, just to give you a little bit of a feel for uh, how the, the uh, Voices event actually looks, I'm going to show you some selected slides from uh, a presentation about Voices that's intended for members. So that's the, you know, that, that's the front screen, and you see the various um, you know, kinds of images that are being made available. Some of these are our service projects. That sewing machine, that's probably a pro that probably relates to the obstetric fistula project in Liberia, and so on. Um, and then th this is about an 18-slide um, presentation, but just so you get a sense of the look and feel, there's Zanta's mission, uh, you know, they're using Zanta's colors uh, in you know, very quickly uh, you know, images, very quickly readable. Um, you know, more images. Here we are at the, uh, the Status of Women event. It's uh, Maria Jose in the middle with uh, our incoming president, uh, Sonia, on uh, the, uh, the left as you look at the screen, and former president, I think that's uh, Margaret, Margaret Vebjorn. Um, factual information, you know, the basics about Zanta. Um, facts about what we do uh, in terms of service and advocacy. And I find this very interesting that, um, uh, that one, of the, one of the ways Yozata is telling us of giving um, uh, prospective members you know, a sense of the, the value to themselves is pointing out that there's mentoring and leadership training that is available. So that concludes the um, the slideshow. So I'm going to end the um, slideshow. Okay, now I. Okay. 
I have, can people still hear me? Is I have, I have lost, oh, okay. Uh, okay, so I'm going to stop sharing. And uh, now I'm just going to uh, wrap up briefly. I know that we're very short of time. So this is really just a very brief glimpse at what the Voices campaign involves. I hope you've seen enough to be excited about the opportunities that this uh, uh, that this campaign uh, presents to you and to your clubs. Um, as Kate mentioned a moment ago, um, the materials are not at this point accessible on the website, but that information will be forthcoming shortly. And I will work with area directors and with Teresa Harris as the um, PR chair to make sure that these tools are available to you. And in closing, you know, I, I have two requests. One is for, for everyone. Do go into the new uh, website and, and go to MyZanta. Uh, you know, check your profile. Is it still up to date? And just start looking around at all of the marvelous tools that are available there. And secondly, I want to remind presidents that uh, earlier in the spring, uh, login information was supposed to go to uh, presidents for for their club, so that the president can log into a print portal, which makes it possible for you to uh, to download and print all sorts of materials. Um, and with the Voices campaign, it will be very important that clubs have that information. And as clubs transition, you know, with a new with new presidents coming in in many instances, it's very important for the outgoing president to be sure to pass that information along to the incoming president. Uh, at this point, that's all I have to say. And if there are questions, uh, I will keep an eye in the chat box and the Q&A since these are not necessarily working in quite the same way. So uh, thanks, everyone, and uh, I look forward to your questions. Thanks, Marjorie. Great job. If somebody has a couple of questions now, feel free to type them. I see a question from Teresa about how to get the tools. And that's something that, um, as Kate said, uh, that information will be shortcoming, uh, it will be forthcoming very shortly. But I, uh, I don't have that information at the moment. But I'll work, Teresa, with you once I have it so that we can make it available in a, you know, a, a Z mail to the membership or a message to presidents. That's great. Thank you. I'm trying to move that ball over, Marjorie, to um, switch presenters. If maybe you can do that. Um, okay. Uh, I can. Hang on. Um, hang on. Yeah. So I I need to return control to you. Um, yes, please. And how do I do that? Just slide that little ball over. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay, well, it didn't want to slide. Okay, just give me one second. Hum the joke. Pretty. I, I, yeah, I think I think I I think I've passed it along to you. Okay. Am I the host again? Okay, good. <laughs> This is, must be how they felt when they started the Model T. Um, okay. Bear with me. Why is this not facing the game? Facing the slide. There we go. All right. So let's summarize. We saw some of our our new webs oops in the district. Hang on, hang on. Oh 
see the screen. Okay, so a little summary. Thank you, Kate. There's a picture of Kate. Great job on the new website. And I know we all look forward to looking at that video, the seven-minute video on the tutorial um, at our own leisure and really getting to maximize that website. It would be super to check in on it every, maybe once a week even. There's so much news. And even the Zanjin magazine is available on it now. It's really awesome. So thank you for Marjorie, for your Add Your Voice, these are some images from that program. Um, you'll see, that just like Zanta says, no, there's women of all, um, many, many different appearances, and you can choose the one that closely relates to your club. So now I'm going to ask Candace to speak to us really close to this microphone on where we are now. Okay, Zanta, you're is um, starting in June, and the year is ending, and the new biennium is beginning. Club deadlines. Monday, May 2nd, your club's end of the year report and completed club achievement um, your, needs to be to Zonta International. And copy me, please, as governor. Your club's list of officers and contact information should be sent into Zonta International also. Thursday, May 12th, is your club's convention registration form needs to be in with either your delegates and alternates or proxies. Um, it's due to Zonta International by Thursday, May 12th. And The president does submit that particular form. 2019, it's only three years away to our centennial celebration. The proposed theme is 100 years of empowering women. We hope that you're all helping your archivists to put all your information together on each of your clubs and get that information in. At this time, I'd like to thank the area directors for all their work they do throughout the year and for their input on this event. Again, thanks to our special presenters, Marjorie and Kate. Great job, ladies. And thanks to you, the members of District 2. We hope you found the webinar a good use of your time today. I know we had a few hiccups, but we made history, and that's what's important. We'll get better as time goes on and that you learned something new. Please go to the website and use the Zonta International website. It's the new um, additions are absolutely phenomenal. Now, there's still time for NICE. Our fall seminar is coming up also October 22nd, and please plan to attend. It's a one-day seminar, 9.30 to 2.30, $45 registration, and Marjorie will be sending out more information regarding this as the um, year goes on, and it's going to be at Hope Lake Lodge in Cortland, New York. Again, remember, it's not too late to join your fellow Zanchins in Nice. Register today. It's going to be phenomenal. Thank you so much for attending today. We wish you well. And this concludes the area workshop. Have a great day.